Today is the 4th of July, the day we celebrate our independence. And while it is America's birthday, the fight to earn that freedom lasted eight years. And News 19's Jerry Hayes just discovered some of his ancestors were involved. Here's the story. When Jess Brown, a member of the Tennessee Valley chapter of the Sons of the American Revolution, contacted me to see if I'm a descendant of an American patriot, I gave group members the names they needed to get started. Only about seven in 10,000 Americans have proven they're a bloodline descendant of a Revolutionary War patriot. I wasn't very hopeful. Genealogist Penny Chilton with the Maple Hill chapter of DAR and Ray Castle, registrar for the Tennessee Valley SAR chapter, learned. But, but you are um, six patriots. Your cup runneth over. Most patriots are recognized for either their military service. They literally grabbed a musket or otherwise a weapon and were prepared to, to fight redcoats. Or for their public oath of allegiance. They publicly signed a document and said, I renounce my loyalty to King George and I am I'm now one of these new Americans. Some also gave money or supplies to help the colonial revolutionary war effort. Maybe if you had a great, great, great grandfather or whatever that gave cattle or pigs or whatever to feed the troops, you can qualify as a, as a patriot. My family tree includes two who took up arms, two gave money, and two took an oath of allegiance. You are indeed a, a Yankee doodle dandy, <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> three patriots are on my mom's side of the family, three on my dad's. One generation after the revolution, my descendants moved to Tennessee and put down deep roots. This is James Bracken Osborne and his wife, Molly Bull. Two of my great-great-grandparents. And this is a picture of the uniform my great-great-great-great-great-grandfather from Virginia may have worn. And Joseph Sladen was a trooper in the 1st Continental Light Dragoons. It's a form of light cavalry. They're the eyes and ears of the army. Yeah. Uh, they're the ones that patrol ahead, that screen the movements of the army, gather intelligence and report back to their headquarters. He probably served in a unit under the command of William Washington, George's cousin. As a private, he earned roughly $100 a year for his service. Just up the road is the only gravesite of my six American patriots. William Ogilvy is, you know, first families of Tennessee. He was born in Virginia and signed an oath of allegiance to North Carolina, but put down roots in the volunteer state. There in Williamson County, he had a large farm. The farm still is in the family. The family cemetery is there by the house. It's on private land, but uh, you can't ask. It is marked by the Daughters of the American Revolution that he is a patriot. William July 4th will feel a little different this year, knowing some of my family members were involved in one of the three ways to help win our nation's independence. These were the Americans that you know stood in the Revolutionary War. Your lineage represents each one of those. Six more reasons I'm proud to be an American. In Huntsville, Jerry Hayes, News 19. And if you're interested in learning if you may be a descendant of an American patriot, Several groups can help. Jerry has the links to the Tennessee Valley chapter of the Sons of the American Revolution and the Daughters of the American Revolution for you on our website. Just go to whnt.com and look for the story.